All right. So, um, so for number two, it says a ship leaves port and travels 30 miles due north. All right. So what we're going to have is let's just make port here. So it says 30 nautical miles due north. So that's going to be straight north. Remember bearings. North, east, south, west. Right? Okay. So it goes 30 nautical miles. Excuse me. 30 nautical miles due north. Then it changes course to north 15 degrees east. Well, where would north 15 degrees east? Because let's actually shorten this a little bit. So if it's heading this way, then it goes north 15 degrees east. So you go north. 15 degrees east. So if I was going to continue in the north direction, 15 degrees east would be this. Does everybody see that? Because east is to the right and north is straight up. And it says it goes there for, so it travels here 30 nautical miles, and then it traveled here uh, 10 more nautical miles. And what it's asking us is find the ship's bearing from the port, um, from the port of departure. So now the ship is like right here. And what we want to do is we want to find theta, which is that bearing. So again, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do is we need to create right triangles, right? We have to create our right triangles. So what I'm going to do is I need to look at this and say, all right, what, where can I kind of draw right triangles? Well, if I know this is 15 degrees, I could draw a horizontal or draw a perpendicular line to my north degree, right? Therefore, I have a triangle that's going to look like this. I don't know what the distance over is. I know that my angle is 15 degrees, right? And I know that my hypotenuse, this distance is 10. So by knowing those two lengths, can we figure out what x is? Or by knowing those two measurements, can we figure out what x is? Yes, exactly. So what we're going to do, so I'll borrow a nice calculator from a lovely student. Thank you very much. Uh, what I'm going to do is I can write my trigonometric function. So I can say, the, um, let's see, the opposite over hypotenuse is going to be sine. So I say sine of 15 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, I can write this as x equals 10 times sine of 15 degrees. So let's figure that out. Make sure that we're in degree mode. And we have sine of 15 times 10. So I have 2.5 nautical miles. Does anybody else get that same answer? Okay. So we have x equals, or approximately, let's round this to 2.6 nautical miles. All right? Now, the next thing that we want to do, um, so we have 2.6 nautical miles. So now we know that this length is 2.6, right? Right? Yes. OK. Do we have enough information now to be able to figure out what theta is? No. To figure out theta, you're going to at least need to have two side lengths. So what we can also do, Marco, we have 30, but 30 only goes to here. So therefore, that means we need to figure out what this length is. So to figure out that length, we can figure out what y is, right? So to use this triangle to figure out y, I could say the cosine of 15 degrees equals y over 10. Therefore, y equals 10 times cosine of 15 degrees. Does that make sense? Yes? No? OK, so therefore, we do 10 times cosine of 15, which is going to be 9.66. So we could say y equals approximately 9.66 nautical miles. So therefore, what is the true distance? So now if I was going to kind of write out this long triangle, we know that this distance is 2.6, and this one is 39.66, right? Does everybody see that, what I did? Then I want to figure out what theta is. So if I have the opposite of theta, because here's my right angle, if I have the opposite of theta and I have the adjacent, which trigonometric function is going to help me do that? Tangent. So let's write over here. So I'll say tangent 
of theta is 2.6 is equal to 2.6 divided by 39.66. Does that make sense? Then to find theta, I need to inverse function. So theta equals tangent inverse of 2.6 over 39.66. Therefore, theta equals, so I take inverse tan of 2.6 divided by 39.66. 3.75. Which divided by 39. No, it doesn't make sense how it would be smaller. Oh, well, it is 30 nautical miles down. So it's going to be 3.75 degrees. OK? Any questions?